Right, today we're going to be dealing with Fangsi or geometry of straight lines. So you can see in all of these over here, I have straight lines. Now, the th important thing to note is that with my F, my U and my N, with fun, I have parallel lines. So fun cannot work if I do not have parallel lines. And my U and my Y, these ones over here, are the only ones that equal to 180. So these two together must add up to 180. Remember again, fun can only work if I have parallel lines and my U and Y add up to 180, which means this X and Y don't need parallel lines. They only need straight lines. As you can see, all of that is straight. So let's quickly go through it. My F is corresponding angles, which means this angle over here is equal to this angle over here as long as these lines are parallel. U, co-interior angles, co-interior angles equal to 180 degrees. So that means that angle plus this angle over here is equal to 180 degrees. N, once again, need parallel lines. This angle over here, you can see that, and that. These two ones where they only make up angles, you can see they can only be angles over here and here, are equal to each other as long as they are parallel lines. So fun can only work if they are parallel lines. My X, vertically opposite, means that angle is equal to that angle, and this angle over here is equal to that angle, as long as they are straight lines, vertically opposite. And lastly, angles on a straight line. Here is my straight line, which means this angle plus this angle must equal to 180 degrees. It's either called angles on a straight line or your supplementary angles are equal to 180 degrees. So the important thing to know here, fun can only work with parallel lines. You must know which ones are equal to which or what must equal to what. And lastly, your U and your Y are equal to 180. That's the most important thing that you need to know for Fangxi over here. Right, the next one here, I'm going to give you some examples for you to do. Remember, pause the video uh, and attempt this yourself. So, here I'm solving for X and for Y over here. Now, to do this over here, we can um, just see that there's 110 over here. An X and a Y, I've got parallel lines. So, which ones can use parallel lines? I can have my F over here, my U and my N. Right, so you can see my parallel lines. Can you see that there is a U over here? There is my U, right? Looks like that. Here is my F as well. So the moment I see parallel lines, I know it can be an F, a U, or an N. So over here, can you also see that there is my N over here as well? Right, or my Z. Can you see that over there? Right, so you are looking for your X. So your X over here, you can use co-interior, your U, right? So you co-interior, so you're going to say 110 plus X is equal to 180. Why? Because of what? This is co-interior. Right? And then you must also say, why? Because line A, right? Line A, so this is A, B, C, D. Line A, C is parallel to B, C. Because you are using either your F, your U, or N. If you use any of the, these ones over here, either your F, your U, or your N. If you use any of these, you need to state which one is parallel. Which lines are parallel to what? So I'm telling you that A, C is parallel to B, D. Oh, made a mistake over there. Is parallel to B, D. A, C is parallel to B, D. Then I want X alone, so I'm going to say X is equal to 180 minus 110, right? Therefore, X is equal to 70 degrees. So that X over here is equal to 70 degrees. Y, how am I going to do Y over here? Which ones are you going to use? Right, you can use, you see there, this 110 is equal to that one over there, Y over here. So Y is equal to 110 because of corresponding. So Y is equal to 110 because of corresponding angles, right? And because AC 
is parallel to BD, just like that one over there. Or also you could have seen that because this angle is 70 degrees, right? 70 degrees, angles on a straight line, right? Here's my straight line, just like this Y over here. There's my straight line, here's my straight line. So that means that angle plus this angle must equal to 180. And we already know that 70 plus 110 will give you 180 degrees. 110 plus 70 will give you 180 degrees. So that you can either do that or you can do the corresponding that we have just done. I've just solved for X and Y. Right, so looking at this one over here, you can see I need to solve for Z, X and Y over here. Right, and you can see, right, I've got, once again, parallel lines over here and here. So you can see I have no Z. There's no way that I can get a Z, but I've got an F over here. So here's my line, there, there. Here's another line over there, there, and there. So there's an F, there's a U over here as well, and I've got triangles. So there's many ways to solve this one over here. Right, the first one I'm going to look, you can already see there is a U here. So I'm going to say Y. So I can say yeah, Y is equal to, no, Y plus, sorry, Y plus 94, which is this one over here, is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because of co-interior angles. And because DE is parallel to BC over here. So you can see there is my U, this one over here, right? Remember your U, it's just placed sideways like that. So that angle there has to equal, plus that angle must equal to 180. So Y is equal to 180, take that over, minus 94 degrees, therefore Y is equal to 86 degrees over there. Right, 86. So that's my value for y, 86. How am I going to solve for that one over there? You can see there is an f over here. Right, my f here is the first line there. So my f looks like that, this direction. Okay. So if you want to see, the f looks like that. Okay, there is my F over here, which means this X is equal to 38 as well. So X is equal to 38 degrees because of corresponding. I'm just going to write corresponding like that. So DE is parallel to BC over there. Right, then the last thing that I need to solve is this one over here, this Z over here. Right, there's more than one way to solve it. I'm going to show you one of the other ways that you can solve. So, this one here, you know that this angle is 38 degrees. Right, this Y we've just solved is 86. So, if you want to do angles on a straight line, that means this angle over here is also 86 degrees. So, I've got 86 and I've got 38. Remember in the video before, we learned that angles in a triangle equal to 180. So, you can also say that Z is e Z plus this over here, ADE plus ADE, which is this angle over here, which we know is 86, plus AED, this angle over here, is equal to 180 because of angles in a triangle. Right? We don't need to say which one is parallel because we already know that this doesn't need parallel lines. We just know that all triangles in a triangle equal to 180. So Z over there we do not know. So Z plus ADE is 86 degrees plus 38 degrees is equal to 180. Okay? Then you can add these two up. So it is going to be... 80 plus 30, 110, 116, 124 over here. So I've got 124 over here. So Z plus 124 is equal to 180. Take my 124 over. See when I take it over, it changes to a negative. Don't forget that because it was positive, changes over. So Z is equal to 56 degrees. 
right so now I've got the value for y I've got the value for x and I've got the value for z okay